In most of the single-engine aircraft you'll be flying, the propeller rotates clockwise from the point of view of the pilot. This clockwise rotation of the propeller creates a torque effect in the opposite direction, giving the aircraft a left-turning tendency. In addition to these torque effects, other factors add to this left-turning tendency in the aircraft. When the aircraft is at high angles of attack, the propeller blade descending on the right produces more thrust than the ascending blade on the left. The asymmetry in how the propeller produces thrust causes a yaw tendency to the left. Torque and P-factor are more pronounced at low airspeed since there's less forward motion counteracting the yaw tendency. At high power, since the faster propeller spins, the greater these forces become. And at high angles of attack, because this leads to the greatest asymmetry, greatest propeller factor in the thrust produced. The aircraft turns by banking the wings to the side, deflecting lift horizontally. The horizontal component of lift turns the aircraft in the direction of the bank. Because lift has been deflected to the side, vertical lift has reduced. Although the aircraft is still producing, say, 2,000 pounds of lift at a 60 degree bank angle, only 1,000 pounds of that lift is vertical to counteract weight, and the aircraft will descend. By Increasing the angle of attack, total lift is increased to compensate for this loss of vertical lift. The aircraft load factor is increased as the wings generate a greater force. Because the increased angle of attack brings the aircraft closer to a stall, the increased load factor will cause the aircraft to stall at a higher airspeed. On the test, you'll be asked to calculate the load factor on the aircraft for a given bank angle in a level turn. You'll be using the figure here to determine the answers. In a level turn, the load factor or g-force on the aircraft increases as the bank angle becomes steeper. For example, at a 60 degree bank, load factor is doubled. You could find this load factor of two either by reading it across the graph on the vertical axis or using the chart on the left side and matching the 60 degree bank angle with a load factor of two. At a load factor of two, the weight the aircraft wings are required to support is doubled, so a 2,000 pound aircraft will need 4,000 pounds of lift to maintain altitude.